Hi, my name is Dr. David Thompson and I'm a board member of the Wharfdale, Airedale and Craven Alliance. Otherwise known as WACA, we are a federation of GP practices in your local area. WACA is comprised of seven independent member practices that join together with the aim of providing additional and enhanced services. And our practices include Townhead Surgery and Branch, Dineley House Surgery, Linghouse Medical Centre and North Street Surgery, Addingham Surgery, Ilkley and Wharfdale Medical Practice, Ilkley Moor and Grassington Primary Care Services, and Grange Park Surgery. Across our member practices, we offer both physical and mental healthcare services. My name is Jo Shepherd and I'm the uh, Business Practice Manager from Ilkley Moor Medical Practice. Uh, we're one of several hubs that offer extended access appointments across the area and we're actually open for patients to be seen between 6 and 8 every evening of the week. If you want to book an extended access appointment you just need to mention this to your reception team at your own practice. Hi, my name's Lisa, I'm the Practice Manager here at Addingham Surgery. Um, we are a member practice of the Wharfdale and Airedale and Craven Alliance, part of the primary care network. WACA member practices use three online platforms, the NHS app, System Online and eConsult. eConsult allows patients to visit their practice website and submit their symptoms. There is an option to access self-help advice too. You don't need to register to use this service. Your GP reception team will then receive your digital consultation and send it on to the best person to help you. This could be a doctor or a nurse or an area specialist such as a pharmacist or physiotherapist. System Online allows patients to access more administrative tools such as ordering repeat prescriptions or to book follow-up appointments. If you'd like to make use of this platform you should speak to your surgery's reception team or visit their website for more information. The NHS app merges these two services into one place, allowing patients who are aged 13 or over to submit e-consultations and book appointments. This can be found under the advice heading. You can also order repeat prescriptions and view your COVID-19 vaccine passport. To access this service, you'll need to download the NHS app on your mobile phone or tablet. Or if you're using a laptop, you can visit the link now displayed on the screen. To use the NHS app, there's no need to contact your surgery. You will need to register though for an account and verify your identity by taking a photograph of your ID and submitting it. My name's Hamza, I'm one of the pharmacists that works for WACA. So with the increasing demand on general practices, the GP reception team can care navigate your appointment to the most appropriate healthcare professional. This might mean that you are given an appointment with one of the pharmacists. So practice pharmacists work closely with the surgery to answer queries about medicines and to ensure that they are being used appropriately to keep patients safe. Many GP pharmacists are able to prescribe medicines, but those who can't work closely with your GP to ensure the medicines you are being prescribed are safe and are working well for you. My typical day to day would involve acute medication requests, undertaking medication reviews with patients via telephone and also managing long term conditions such as blood pressure, thyroid and cholesterol management. When you are booked in for a telephone appointment, we ask that patients have their medication to hand and to have a think about how they use their medicines, what works well for them and what doesn't. Think about the questions you may have about your medication. You can get in touch with your practice pharmacist by calling reception to make a telephone appointment. Alternatively, you can complete an e-consult online. Uh, so my name is Helen, I'm a first contact physio, so instead of seeing a doctor, uh, you can book an appointment with me. So my role is to support the GP's workload and enable patients to get the right diagnosis and advice as to how to manage their condition. So we see patients with soft tissue, joint and muscle related problems. However, if you're feeling unwell, you need to go and see a doctor. And this service is for anyone over the age of 16. 
So all you need to do is to contact your GP practice, either by telephone or e-consult, and give them some details of the problem, and then they can book you an appointment with a physio. When you attend the appointment, I'll be asking screening questions to make sure that you're seeing the right person. For example, if you've got a, a UTI, urinary infa infection, you might actually present with back pain. Um, I also do a quick assessment so that we need to see that body part. So loose trousers, shorts or a vest top are really good to wear. Um, I can provide advice, exercises and could do a referral on for further investigation or to other specialist services if required, for example, you know, to the hospital physio, to orthopaedics, the MSK clinic. My name is Emma and I'm a project manager for Wacker Primary Care Network. I'm here to talk to you about our health check programme. A health check is an opportunity to identify people who may be at risk of developing long-term health problems. The health check would include blood sugar monitoring, blood pressure monitoring, your height and weight measurements, and then a conversation about your result with a healthcare practitioner. Your healthcare practitioner may advise you to go and seek further assessments with your GP, or they may put you in touch with community-based support, um, such as a gym exercise referral programme. The health check events are delivered in the local community across Airedale, Wolfdale and Craven. To find out when the next events are taking place near you, please follow us on social media at Wacker Yorkshire or visit the Wacker Alliance website. Hello, my name's Sue Moorchild and I'm one of the social prescribers with the adult social prescribing team. Uh, my role is to work with patients in a non-medical role to support them to both identify any issues and concerns that they have and to signpost them to activities, resources, advice and information to help support, maintain and improve their general well-being. A patient will either be referred to the social prescriber in their surgery via the GP or other health professional or in discussion with the reception team, we offer telephone, video consultations and face-to-face -face appointments. Hi, I'm Lucy. Great Minds is the Children's Social Prescribing Service. We offer non-medicinal support and advice to children and young people 3 to 18 years old. We look to explore areas of support with the young person and offer self-help resources to help them manage their issues and signpost to other services if appropriate. To be referred to the Great Minds team, you can go via your GP, school or complete the self-referral form on our WACA website. Another way that we'll be reaching out to our audience is through the new Great Minds podcasts, which will be starting this summer. To find out more, follow us on social media at the Great Minds podcasts. Now you've had a look at some of the services we offer, let's take a look at our community groups. WACA supports several community groups, such as Eat, Move, Be Happy and Happy Mondays. Hello, I'm Katie Peacock and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Happy Mondays Together, which is a new project from Exclusively Inclusive and WACA. Okay, so Happy Mondays came about through discussions with a number of people who have learning disabilities who felt that post-Covid it was time to start getting together and to meet up with people to help reduce their isolation and improve their health and well-being. And it's open to absolutely everyone in our community, although there is that focus for people with a learning disability. So we have an, an open door policy, so you can turn up on the day but you can get in touch with us at Exclusively Inclusive or through WACA. Um, we regularly post on our social media with uh, contact details, so just uh, drop us a message. We're happy to, to share further information with people. And our plan is that we will do six weeks in each area. People are welcome to come along for just uh, five or ten minutes to start with or, or to stay for the whole two hours. It's entirely up to them. There's no pressure. 
Hello, my name is Dale Cardis. I am one of the volunteers on a Monday working alongside Katie. What I enjoy about Happy Mondays is you get to meet loads of friends and you get to make friendships that last forever. You also get to talk about how you are feeling and joining new activities and sometimes we go out in the garden. You can come and have a brew and a chat, you can do anything here. It is just up to you. It is your choice. At Eat, Move, Be Happy, we help people live healthier, happier lives. We have programmes to improve people's diet, exercise and mental health. Our Live Better programme is a 13-week programme that helps people better understand their relationship with food, their eating and exercise habits, so they can make healthier choices more of the time. It's not about being perfect, it's about supporting each other in the groups to make those small changes that add up to living a healthier life. Healthy Choices is aimed specifically at people who are living with a higher risk of developing long-term conditions such as heart disease and diabetes. The aim of the programme is to educate people on better eating and exercise habits, to understand those health risks that they're living with and the practical things they can do to reduce them. So it's a combination of how to change eating habits to healthier choices and exercise. Our Get Moving Exercise classes help people with various medical conditions and ability levels to have some good, solid, healthy, fun exercise so they get stronger, fitter and be able to live fuller, happier, better lives. Exercise can benefit you in a whole range of ways with your confidence, uh, with reducing pain and to be able to get more out of your life. Our wellbeing coaching programme helps people better understand their mental health and wellbeing and identify ways, the practical ways, that they can boost their mental health and wellbeing, particularly when things feel tough. We find that most people know what to do to be healthier, and yet we don't do it. We actually help people make healthier choices more of the time. You can find out more about these programmes and how to enrol on our website www.eatmovebehappy.com Here at WACA, whether it's through our patient network or through one of our volunteering programmes, we love it when patients get involved. Hi, my name's Rachel Pengelly. I'm the practice manager at Ilkley and Wharfdale Medical Practice. Each doctor's surgery has a patient participation group, otherwise known as a PPG. These groups are designed to allow patients to give feedback to the surgery. WACA also has a similar group known as the WACA Patient Network. If you'd like to get involved with your surgery's PPG, please get in touch with your own practice. If you'd like to join the WACA Patient Network, please visit the WACA website www.wacalliance.co.uk. We're always looking for new volunteers to help us out with the community health programmes. Our volunteers have helped at our COVID clinics, our community health checks, and have also supported our social prescribers. I like volunteering because I like being part of the community, and it's my way of giving a little bit back to the NHS. But on a personal level, I think volunteering has helped me mentally. It's enabled me to come out and meet various types of people from all walks of life and we are now all the volunteers it's like being a family and you feel part of that one of my main duties when i volunteer is i am on the um, the door outside uh, helping people form an orderly queue uh, allaying any fears they have or just general chit chat if you'd like to become a WACA volunteer, please visit our website at www.wacalliance.co.uk and find our Join the Team page. So thank you for watching, and now you've learned about the services we can offer, why not keep up to date and follow us on social media at WACA Yorkshire.